Hey everybody, Larry Kruger with you. Let's talk about the NFL Draft, which is coming up on the 28th. Niners don't have a number one, but they got a bunch of picks. And two guys that they met with this week are of particular interest to me. Now, Danny Gray is a wide receiver from SMU. They met with him. He ran 4-3-3 at the Combine. This guy is in a burner, absolute burner. He was the Texas State champion in the 100-meter dash. Averaged over eight yards after the catch, which is fifth best among the wide receivers in this year's draft. Juco player who then went to SMU, who was supposed to go to Missouri, then went the Juco route, then went to SMU, and became a first-team all-conference player uh, this year. And he is explosive. I mean, two steps and he is gone. Uh, now, he ran a limited route tree at SMU. They used him primarily along the sideline as a boundary receiver. But, man, he is an incredible, explosive player. Now, with the 49ers, they got Debo, they got Ayuk, they got Juwan Jennings, they got Kittle. They don't need an underneath guy. They need a vertical threat who can make plays down the field and create room. And this guy can do it. Now, the one thing about him is he needs to get stronger. That's why he's going to be there on day three. He's not the most physically strong receiver you're going to see. But at the college level, he's beating the jam at the line of scrimmage, and he's doing it with speed, and he's doing it with quickness. And this le level of explosiveness is really, really rare. So some guys run 4-3-3, but they don't play to that speed, or they play slower than their time. I would say this guy plays as fast or faster than he clocks, and as I said, 4-3-3 is plenty fast. So that's a receiver. Remember that name. Day three of the draft. Niners looking for a vertical threat. Danny Gray, SMU. Now, this is a great draft for, for edge rushers. And one of my favorites is D'Angelo Malone from Western Kentucky. Malone led Conference USA in tackles for loss. He was second in the conference this year in sacks. He's got 32 and a half career sacks. Now, he's an incredible player. Two-time Conference USA Player of the Year, 2019 and 2020, or 2019 and 2021. Um, and then at his pro day, he ran 4.58. So, and he's a great athlete, 35 and a half, 35 and a half inch vertical, uh, 23 reps at 225. So he's plenty strong on the bench. And then when you turn on the film and you watch D'Angelo Malone, I mean, you just fall in love with this guy's ability to rush the passer. Lightning get off. I mean, this guy comes shot out of a cannon and he can dip his shoulder and flatten to that quarterback and he can really close. Now you mix in a great motor. And just, he's a crazy bend and burst guy. Now you say, why is he going to be there? If he's that good, why is he going to be there in the fourth or fifth round? Well, he, he's only 243 pounds, and um, a lot of teams don't think he's going to stand up against the run. But the bottom line is, for the 49ers, they play their guys in a rotation, and they get that wide nine. They're looking to burn the edges with guys who can really run. Four or five speed, D'Angelo Malone coming off the edge. And you got Nick Bosa coming off the other edge. You got problems if you're an offensive line. So I think if the Niners drafted Malone in the fourth or fifth round and played him in a rotation, you might see a really explosive, impactful uh, rookie defensive end. So remember those names on draft day Danny Gray, wide receiver, SMU, D'Angelo Malone, edge rusher, Western Kentucky.